We are celebrating Black History Month right here on Studio 10, and today we have an artist who is creating and capturing all of that history right in a portrait. Welcome back, we should say. Mila, how are you? I'm good. We are so excited <laughs> to have you, and especially we had to kind of move uh, because there's so much artwork that you brought in here because you were recently commissioned to make these pieces uh, alongside the Slavery to Freedom lecture series at MSU. So when they asked you to be a part of this, how did that feel? Um, very cool. This is only their second year that they have incorporated art into the speaker series, so mm -hmm. definitely an honor. Um, also, th it was originally just supposed to be one piece, but when I was like, okay, we're coming up on the 24th year, I thought it would be cool to do a collection of pieces, mm -hmm. um, and also because it's really hard to encapsulate black history and black yeah. culture into like one thing, mm -hmm. so even in 24 pieces, that was super difficult. So. Yeah. You yeah. say it's hard, but you make it look so easy. <laughs> You've done it so beautifully. And we're going to dive into each of these pieces, but overall, when you went into doing this, what was your vision? What did you want to try to capture as much as you could in 24 pieces? Um, I think that, so when I talked to Dr. Gilbert, it was um, a conversation around we wanted the pieces to feel like they were celebratory of black culture mm -hmm. and not just strictly covering historical black events mm -hmm. um, but really like day-to-day -day things so some of the pieces are like girls doing each other's hair or um, dancing or just like showing you know like the piece behind me that has the little boy with orange hair like mm -hmm. different different realities mm -hmm. that are not specific to like a time and a date you yeah. know and yeah, it makes it timeless. Absolutely, and especially when you say celebratory, we have some Beyonce behind us too as <laughs> yeah. well. So you know that always calls for a celebration <laughs> also. Yes, but you know, a lot of these are done with different um, materials or different kind of uh, utensils. Uh, how long did it take you to create all 24 pieces? So we had the conversation like late, late September, I want to say, mm -hmm. and then the actual creation of the pieces started probably early November. Wow. So maybe like two, three months. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> Trying to think through things, right? <laughs> yeah. You can't make these things overnight, and mm -hmm. I cannot go without mentioning that you had an incredible honor that we got a chance to see. You actually gave one of your portraits to MC Light. How did that feel? And what, tell us a little bit about that piece that you gave to her. Um, so that that is like a print that has the entire collection on it. Mm -hmm. So that was something that we discussed to give to any of the speakers or people that were participating as mm -hmm. supporters. Um, so that's cool because other people have like the entire collection that they yeah. can have on their wall and yeah, I mean, I'm always happy to have the artwork spread around, so. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of eyes have been on these pieces, this collection. Uh, so talk a little bit about what the community response has been. What have you been hearing when people look at it, you know? Yeah, it's been really positive. I think that people are used to seeing artwork just strictly on canvas. Mm -hmm. So when you incorporate different mediums like vinyl records or cassette tapes, mm -hmm. that becomes even more interesting and also kind of expands other people's mind into possibilities of what artwork can look like. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I've, it's all been positive thus far. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And speaking of expand, don't go anywhere just yet because after the break, we're going to get into more details on how Mila brought all these pieces to life. So stay with us. <laughs> 